age of social media and infinite connections, we have hundreds of friends and followers on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. But how many real friends we have is a big question. People around us may seem to be perfectly happy, but do we know what is actually going on in their mind? And what they have suffered? Most people find it difficult to share their true feelings for the fear of being judged or even rejected. Beneath the mask we all wear, I'm just not the person who appears to be. Hi, can you introduce yourself? My name is D. I am doing my and currently studying at UK Chinese. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Are you okay? Another thing is, I can find it hard to get a family life to be the place of my own refugee and security. What I get is just a place that is a source of pain and disappointment. Since I was a child, my parents did not even care about me. They were always all busy and made me feel like an abandoned, abandoned child. They are arguing with each other day after day, neglecting me, their own child. Plus, it has been quite tight financially for me lately. Everything happens all at once. To be honest, I feel like committing suicide. I felt alone and I felt like I'm going to explode or something <laughs> and then I go crashing down. I need someone to hold me and to bring me back to reality because this is not me and I feel like I'm losing myself. I just want the pain to stop. I know I'm just a burden to all of the people that I love but on the other hand I know that Everything happens for a reason. When things look bad, there's always a silver lining. Just like the saying goes, after every storm, there is a rainbow. I know that I should overcome this before anything gets worse. Movie night is also one of the ways to release some stress. Exercising or working out can help us improve not only our physical health but also our mental health. Last but not least, if everything that we've done doesn't work, we can always rely on our Creator to listen to us and give us guidance.